What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Brennan, I'm BMANX45, and today we're coming at you with another video. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the One Piece live action season 2, as you know I am a big One Piece fan. Uh, really great show, really enjoy the anime, and I really enjoyed season 1 of the live action adaptation, which a lot of people did. Uh, Netflix is doing a season 2, again uh, Oda is going to be a big part of that, and uh, we have some casting so far um we don't have the super important castings well we'd have one of them anyways but we don't we're we're kind of missing um some of the biggest castings uh of the se uh, of the season really uh in, in my mind but um so we, this article here is out of um oh what is it here um what's on netflix uh dot com uh, good information. It's fairly new. The, just September second here, so we have some more castings. Uh, we do have a potential chopper casting, but not maybe not a voice actor. Maybe just a uh, body body double. But we'll get into it right here. Uh, One Piece season two adds more to the cast. It finds Mister Eleven, uh, Bartolomeo, and Chopper uh, heavy point. And hey. If you enjoy this type of content, be sure to smash that like button, comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of fun. Uh, and if you are a dub watcher like me, you'll be happy to know that the uh, the next dub for uh, the beginning of the Egghead arc is coming very soon. I think we're getting it in middle of September, around the 17th, I want to say. Um, and I'm kind of wondering... If they're going to start slowing down now that they're so close or if they're going to pick back up and we're going to get to the point where we're uh, maybe simul dubbing uh, or, you know, you know, we were really close to the we're still really close to the Japanese, like with like within 30, 36 to 40 episodes. Um, but then they like slowed down the release dates. You know, it used to be like a month and now we went from pretty much the end of end of June, beginning of July, all the way to middle of September. So we went from like five weeks to like eight weeks, um, I think in between. But we'll see how that goes anyways. But here, let's get into the article here. Um, castings have uh, come in, or, um, have been coming uh, thick and fast. So, uh, that's an interesting way of putting it. Uh, as the show continues production in South Africa, it's expected to run uh, through January 2025. Netflix still has many more cast members to announce. Uh, we'll and we suspect they'll be unveiling in due time. But Netflix has reportedly found its uh, Mr. Levin, Chopper, uh, Heavy Point, and Luffy's biggest fanboy, Bartolomeo. Um, so anyways, here, uh, after the official teaser uh, from Oda in August, we saw uh, three days... Of cast announcements for the second season so we have uh, here's what we have here uh, season two this is from uh, this I think this is drawn by Oda um, he draws Luffy as Naki uh, McKenyu uh, Emily Jacob and uh, Taz Skyler uh, I love how they he draws it more actually like Jacob instead of the big the big nose um, <clears throat> he says yes uh, filming live action One Piece is currently in production. With filming well underway, the story will cover Logtown, Reverse Mountain, uh, so the Twin Cape, and Whiskey Peak, and Little Garden, uh, and the Drum Island. Uh, think about it. Imagine how much it'll cost, lol. But whether it's the script or the cast, I continue to insist on this or that, which makes... Matt and the showrunner go, ah, and Netflix go, oh, no, and Tomorrow Studios go, what? Uh, as they all pull their hairs out, uh, all that even though we grew so close making season one. But it's because we all share the same passion for the show, just as with the last season, they've gone out of their way to promise that they won't put the show out until I'm satisfied. Uh, this isn't in the contract. You know, it's a very verbal pledge. I hope you can appreciate how amazing and determined they are for keeping their word, and they've currently proven their ability to bring this world to the screen. I just can't wait to see it. Uh, meanwhile, pr the previously announced cast is compiled on the official X account, so go check it out. The Grand Line is an even more expansive world. You may wonder what 
what is the inspiration behind that kingdom uh, how could it, it could connect to the real world naturally the distinctive cast members have been assembled from around the world and i can't help but get excited uh, thinking about how the adventure has already begun uh, among those yet to be announced uh, what about vivi and miss all sunday what are they doing with chopper uh, we can't announce everyone all at once but starting tomorrow We'll be announcing more cast members over three days, uh, August 21st, 2nd, and 3rd. Uh, look out for those and stay tuned for more exciting updates to come. Um, I, I want to see this official teaser from o Oda. That'd be kind of funny. Um, anyways, uh, however, the announcements below do not come from Netflix, but research done by the X account, uh, One Piece Netflix fan. Uh, even before Netflix revealed that uh, Cha Charithra Chandon was cast as Miss Wednesday, they led the speculation behind her casting. Okay. Um, so we have Gavin uh, Gomez as Chopper Heavy Point. It is unclear if Gavin Gomez will provide the voice of Heavy Point Chopper or just solely a body double. Um, yeah, the actor stunt double worked on. A bunch of different projects, Warrior, Black Sails, Plan B, uh, The Cars That Made the World. He also worked on Deep Blue C3 as a stunt performer. Um, so yeah, he's definitely got the probably the body uh, physique for Heavy Point Chopper. So we will see if yeah uh, if he's going to voice him or who's going to voice Chopper. But he's going to be the, at least probably the body of, of uh, Heavy Point Chopper. <coughs> um, Nathan... He Nathan, sorry, Nahum Hughes will play Bartom, Bartolomeo. Uh, he's starting a minor, a bunch of minor roles in movies and television. Black Beauty, Killer Body Count, Darby Harper wants to know you to know, and Project Dinah. Um, fans of One Piece will likely know that Bartolomeo isn't officially introduced to the story until the Dress Rosa arc, which takes place hundreds of chapters after the events of Logtown. However, as a part of Bartolomeo's backstory, he bears witness to the miracle that saves Luffy's life in Logtown, which inspires him to become a pirate. This is a fun and welcome change to the story, much like how Garp was revealed to be Luffy's grandfather hundreds of chapters earlier uh, than shown in the manga. So yeah, basically just kind of trying to tie things together. Um, so... I don't think he'll be a big part of it. I think you'll see him in Logtown, and we won't see him after that because, I mean, I'm hoping not. He doesn't really need to be shoveled in there. I mean, maybe they put him in there for a little bit more, but uh, it'd be cool to see him in the Logtown thing because, yeah, that's that's part of his backstory. Um, so we'll see what they do with that. Um, and then uh, Alan... Uh, Folis will play Mr. Eleven. Um, Alan Folis starred as Owen in the martial arts drama Warrior. He also starred in Apple TV series Invasion and two episodes of the docudrama The Great War as Captain Two. Um, I don't even barely remember Mr. Eleven, honestly. Introduced during the Little Garden arc. Um, okay, there we go. Yeah, introduced during the Little Garden arc, uh, Mr. Eleven is captured by Captain Smoker and Tashigi on the island of Renasi. Um, we never witnessed how Mr. Eleven was captured. We expect to see the fight in the second season, allowing uh, us to see Tashigi and Smoker in action, much like how in the first season we saw, uh, for the first time, the fight between Zoro and Mr. Seven. So yeah, that'll be interesting. Oh, we also have other cast members here. Uh, Jazara Jaslin as Miss Valentine. Um, I don't remember who she was in, in Warrior. I'm not, unless, she, I don't think she's the main, main character. Um, but I don't remember her from Warrior. Um, although I haven't watched the second season, so I'm not sure if she's in the first. Um, David Dastmuch. Desmalchian as Mr. Three. That, to me, is a perfect casting. Uh, he's such a great actor. Um, so he, uh, And he was in Suicide Squad. 
can't even remember what he played in Suicide Squad. Well, again, I haven't watched the second one, so I don't think he's in the first one. Um, but yeah, that, he's he's going to be a perfect number three. Uh, I like uh, Cameron Johnson as Mr. Five. He was in uh, Batwoman. Uh, he's a decent actor. Uh, Daniel Lasker uh, as Mr. Nine. Yeah, Mr. Nine's on. Um, Brendan Murray uh, and Werner Kosetter as Broggy and Dory. Um, Dark Matter. Uh, Brendan Murray was in Dark Matter and uh, Werner Koster is in Dipe Wait. Dieppe Waters. I don't want to say that. Um, this one's cool right here. Uh, Clive Russell as Crocus. Uh, that's a really cool casting. I think that's pretty spot on. Um, you have Ty Keog uh, from Blood Diamond as Dalton. That look, he looks pretty good. Uh, Callum Kerr, uh, Monarch, as Smoker. Uh, I'm interested to know if, actually, no, I think, no, he wasn't the guy who they they showed that kind of back, back of smoker at the end of season one, and that was one of the other cast members. I think that was uh, oh, who was it? Who did that? One of the cast members did that. They they changed into did a costume change for that scene, um, but um, just to do the smoker scene. But that was kind of cool. Um, we also have uh, here you go Julia Raywald uh, as Tashigi uh, and uh, Rob Coletti as Wapple. Uh, these these are some fun ones right here. Um, Katie uh, Segal uh, as Doctor Kareha. I know people were hoping for um, what's her name. Um, uh, um, uh, I, the name escapes me now, but they were hoping for, uh, she wanted to be Dr. Kareha because her uh, kid was a fan, uh, was one of Chopper. Um, I can't, I can't think of the name right now, but, uh, um, she's been in a lot of, Jamie Lee Curtis, sorry, Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, but, uh, I think that Katie Seagal might be a really good pick for Dr. Kareha. Um, Mark, I love this, Mark Herlick as Dr. Hero look, <laughs> uh, and he kind of looks the part. Uh, this is the kind of things. Uh, um, so they're going with a more kind of, um, I'd say like Arabian look uh, for the obviously for um, Miss Wednesday, who is Princess Vivi and Nefertari Cobra. Um, so they got uh, Sendil uh, Rama Murthy. I think I'm sorry if I butcher these names. I I'm so bad with names, uh, and Charithra uh, Chand Chandran as uh, the the royal family of the Alabasta Kingdom. Um, so definitely more Arabian look to them, which makes sense for a desert kingdom and stuff like that. So hopefully people will be okay with that. Um, Oda is you know he he designed the world, and so like he's the one who said, "Hey, this is where everyone would be from," um, regardless of you know, skin tones of the animation. And, and generally, I'm not for race swapping, but I don't consider this race swapping because I think this would be actually pretty um, realistic to the characters and the region that they live in. So I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be good. Um, of course, we, we don't know uh, a bunch of the other really important ones. We don't know, um, you know... Um, to, you know Tony Chopper, his base for him. Uh, we don't know Robin, Crocodile, um, Miss Monday, Miss uh, Golden Weed, Chess, Kuro Marimo, Ace. We don't have yeah, we don't have Ace casting. I don't know if we're gonna see Ace because we did see him in Drum Island because he was looking for Luffy. Um, um, and there are several characters we are aren't expecting to be cast until the third season. Uh, when the events of the Alabasta arc are covered. Um, so it's like Mr. Mr. Two, uh, Toto, Pell, Mr. Four, Miss Merry Christmas, Mr. One, Miss Doublefinger, Kappa, and Chaka. Um, so yeah, I think I think that's some 
I think it's some good casting. I'm surprised that they're not trying to get through Alabasta in season two, considering that it's taking two years um, to make the next season. Like if we were getting a season every year, like another TV show, I could maybe see like, but like the fact that we're, that's the one thing I was worried about is that there's too much stuff to cover. So, you, you know, the show has a limited lifespan as the actors grow older. Um, the fact is we're just doing uh, reverse mount, sorry, uh, log town, reverse mountain, whiskey peak, little garden and drum Island, um, which is a lot actually, if you think about it and we're not even getting into the, um, the, apparently we're not even getting into that little side arc, that little, uh, millennial, I think it was millennial dragon arc between, um, with Opus between, uh, log town and, um, Oh, what is it? Between Logtown and um, and uh, Reverse Mountain. Um, Reverse Mountain um, and Logtown are not actually really long arcs. They're a couple episodes each. Um, and I think Reverse Mountain might honestly only be one, maybe two. Like, like going up the mountains, part of one episode, coming down is part of another episode. But like the whale stuff is, is not really that long. Um, same with Log Town is a couple episodes because of like characters doing stuff that necessarily doesn't need to be part of, um, the episodes, like a lot of that can been cut out. So, but now I'm thinking this is probably going to be two episodes. I'm not sure about reverse mountain, or maybe it's going to be like Log Town will lead into reverse mountain. Um, so it'd be like one, like three episodes combined and then you'll have, um, Whiskey Peak be an episode, or you know, um, Little Garden will be more, uh, and Drum Island will obviously be the rest of it, right? So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm excited that we got some ca some castings, and I I generally think that they're really pretty good. I'm really waiting for Robin. I really want to know who's gonna play Robin. Um, and even though I want to know who's gonna play the voice of Tiny Chopper. Um, that'll be really interesting. Um, cause those are the big ones. Uh, VV was a big one. Um, but those are going to be, those are the other big ones is, is, is those two the castings. So I know I'm, I, 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 I'm not surprised they're playing it close to the vest with Robin, uh, especially cause we're not really going to get to enjoy Robin this season. If, uh, if they're not going to Alabasta until like a third season, but it'll cool, be cool to see, um, all the devil fruit powers, you know, here, here we got here. Uh, the explosions, the candle stuff. Um, technically, there's more stuff because uh, her partner uh, has to be cast as well. Um, I can't remember Mrs. Uh, who her par uh, partner for him was. Um, I wonder how they're going to do the unluckies. Because <laughs> the unluckies were like a bird and a... I think it was, I can't remember. Some kind of creature with the bird. But they were like... It was, it was kind of funny. But anyways, that is looks to be everything um, we have right now. Uh, if I find that teaser trailer, I'll definitely take a look. But let me know what your thoughts are on the castings. Uh, are you excited for the live uh, action One Piece Season 2? Uh, are you thinking it's going to be good? Do you like the casting so far? I like this little note from Oda. That's pretty cool. It's really cool that uh, they're still honoring the writer by wanting him to be satisfied with it. Uh, even though they don't have to be, but it is kind of nice because it does show respect for the original source material, which, as we know, is a very important part of making a good product. Uh, we've seen a lot of bad products, <clears throat> Acolyte, um, that have got canceled because they did not respect the original source material. They made fun of it. They basically said, no, this is garbage. And it's like, you don't have a show without this. So nice try. But I'm glad they're continuing to respect Oda, and I hope they continue to do a really great job, and I'm really excited to see this in the future. But tell me what you guys' thoughts are, and uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully we'll get a trailer maybe or early 2025, and uh, we'll continue to cover the One Piece live action season two, and hope that it's really good. Looks like that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in. We hope to see you in the next video. As always, have a wonderful day, and that's all for now, folks.